Thank you so much for joining us here on Bloomberg. In terms of what we're seeing in Spain, there is, is there a credibility problem? It, can the government shore up a lot of the banks and we actually believe them? Because this is almost the third time that they do this, still with no real effect. That's right. Look, we've seen this act before in Ireland in 2009 and 2010, and there's absolutely a credibility problem. What we learned in the Irish case was that the more there are successive waves of bank recapitalizations, the more the government loses credibility. And I think that's what we're seeing in Spain as well. You know, bond yields have shot right up, even after the announcement of a recap for Bankia. And what's more, I don't think that this recapitalization is the last of it. I think we'll see more. And so even if the government does manage to draw a line under its banking sector, in the absence of economic growth, the sovereign's going to need a bailout as well. So I do think this crisis is all about sentiment. Um, and unfortunately, sentiment has turned against Spain. But if they don't get it right this time, how much more difficult is it going to be? Is this their last chance? Yeah, I mean, they can have another shot at recapitalizing the banks, but like I said, the sovereign's going to need a bailout as well, even if they succeed. And so, um, no matter what, we're headed for a huge bailout for Spain on um, both the banks and the sovereign. A, a bailout in the next couple of months, is it going to, to take a little longer, you think? I think it'll probably take a bit longer. I mean, uh, Spain is different from the Irish case in that um, Spain's not about to run out of money. It's already pre-funded half of its debt rollovers for this year. So Spain does have some time, and I think they'll start out with a bailout for the banks, as they are. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, the sovereign will be pushed into a bailout as well. And don't forget that these bank recapitalizations are coming straight from the government. So they are essentially just being foisted onto the state's balance sheets, and that will increasingly cause investors to worry about Spain's solvency. But so what does the government actually need to do now to convince investors that it has a situation under control? Would it be almost easier for them to say, now we need a bailout possibly for the country and get over it, you know, get it done? I think the best solution for Spain would be a proactive, direct capital injection for Spain's banks from the EU bailout funds. Now, unfortunately, Germany is dead set against that, so I don't think it will happen. Um, but beyond that, I don't think there's anything the Spanish government really can do to regain confidence in the markets. You know, we saw a few weeks ago that, you know, as investors became worried about Spain, Spain announced more austerity measures to prove it was serious about reining in its fiscal dynamic, and actually investors just worried more about the impact of those austerity measures on on growth. So um, the Spanish government kind of can't win no matter how you cut it. And the Bank of Spain also has a credibility problem? Yeah, I think the Bank of Spain has a bit of a credibility problem um, just in terms of the statements it's made recently about Bankia being solvent, which clearly <laughs> it isn't. Um, and so the central bank does as well. Um, but ultimately, it's the Spanish sovereign that's going to be bailing out these banks. And so it does all um, come down to the, to the Spanish state. And will higher provisions on healthy real estate appease the markets at all? Um, it will help, um, but I think, it, yeah, it's a drop in the bucket. You know, I think the bank recapitalizations that we're looking for in Spain are going to have to be between 100 and 250 billion euros. So that's a huge figure, um, and I don't think we'll see that in Spain. Uh, Megan, if we see Greece actually leaving the euro, is that going to precipitate Spain asking for a bailout? Is it all going to come to a head in the next six months? Uh, it could well precipitate Spain asking for a bailout. Um, and the EU and the IMF have put together this huge firewall um, specifically for Spain and unfortunately Italy, which is inextricably tied to Spain. Um, we could buy a bit more time for Spain and Italy through this firewall, but it's, uh, the firewall is only big enough to really support Spanish banks, the Spanish government, and the Italian government um, until about the end of 2014. So it's really just not big enough to give those countries enough time to restructure their economies. So we might see Spain asking for a bailout sooner. Um, we won't see a debt restructuring or an exit on the part of Spain or Italy for a bit longer, though. Megan, thank you so much.